Hi guys, this is Dr. Venkatesh. In our School of Earth Sciences from SRTM University in Nandit Mahathir, India. So today we are going to be discussing e-waste management tools and its related techniques. So let's see. So firstly, what is mean by waste? Waste is nothing but anything in wrong form, in wrong concentration, in wrong place. It's simply called as waste. So as we have waste, are three different categories according to its types, according to its degradability, and according to its effect. So, according to its states, a waste is simply classified into three different states that is, solid, liquid, and gases. And according to its degradability, it's biodegradable and non biodegradable. And its effect, it's hazardous one or non hazardous one. Let's see the next one. So, here we are going to be discussing tools and techniques of waste management, managing non biodegradable as inorganic waste through techniques of sorting or segregation and ultimately the e-waste processing. So the man is the centralized in its community. So waste is also coming a decentralized system of waste management. It's also coming from community mode. So managing managing non-biodegradable inorganic that is e-waste from different levels that is household to institutional and institutional to community. So here is the some chain or a cycle of e-waste collection from different sources of collection, logistics, sorting, separation or grinding, refurbishment or material recycling or disposal. That is a visible form or invisible form. Both they are being going to be collected. So here we see uh, the symbol of e-waste management and the processing of it. So here is a uh, e-waste. Is any refuse or discarded electronic devices or components or substances involved in the manufacturing or use? Example: computers, office electronic equipment, entertainment devices, electronics, mobile phones, television sets, and refrigerators, etc. So various variety of e-waste. As you know, the number of electronic gadgets we are present in the your homes or everybody's home. So, telecommunication based including mobile phones, telephone, telephone exchange, wireless equipment, cables, and related scrap material or PC and TVs. Electrical waste, switches, relays, connectors, and related scrap materials. So, electronic waste. Electronic waste including electronic, metal waste, printed circuit boards equipments or e-equipments and machineries, ICs, sockets and connectors. So next, a cable waste. It's also including PVC, pre-installed copper and aluminum wastes. So, dangerous constitution of e-waste. As you, everybody knows, e-waste constitutes a number of heavy metals. As it helps with may direct contact with harmful materials such as lead, cadmium, chromium, bromium, Arbominated flames, pretends, or polycarbonated bifinite, that is PCBs, or inhalation of toxic firms, as well as accumulation of chemicals in soils or water, as well as in the food form. So, effect of hazardous substances that came out of e waste. Mercury causes chronic damages to brain, memory loss, or muscle weakness. Sulfur causes liver, kidney damages, damage to heart, heart attack, or eye or throat irritations. Cadmium causes a natural damage of toxic irreversible effects on human health. BFRS disrupts endocrine system and its function. Lead damages central periphery nervous system, blood system and kidney damages. Lead affects the brain development of children as well as adults one. Cadmium also accumulates in the kidney and liver and teratogenics etc. The inhalation of cadmium can cause severe damage to lungs and as well as damages to kidney etc. So method of collection and disposal of e-waste. It's generally including landfilling, incineration and traditional one recycling of e-waste and reuse. So landfilling including those materials are generally not utilizable they are simply going to be dumped in a landform and that particularly harms to a groundwater as well as soil and after uh, some kind of rainfall or some kind of 
वॉटर मिक्सिंग और सम काइंड ऑफ वॉटर कम इन द कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ वॉटर दे फॉर्म अ लीचेट एंड देट कुड बी अल्टीमेटली पोलूट और ग्राउंड वॉटर एज वेल एज सॉइल सो इंजनरेशन इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कंट्रोल्ड एंड कम्प्लीट कम्बन प्रोसेस Which is used as a material burn, especially designed for incinerators, high temperature unit. Advantages of incineration e-waste is the reduction of waste volume and utilization of energy content as combustible material. Disadvantages of incineration are the emission of air substances, especially from flux gases, cleaning of the large amount of residual gas cleaning coming from combustion. So recycling of e-waste monitors and CRDs, keyboard, laptop. modems telephone boards hard drives floppy disks compact disks mobiles flex machines printers cpus memory chips connecting wires and cables can be recycled recycling involves dismantling recovery valuable materials recycling is the best possible option of the management e waste because of existing dumping grounds in india are full and overflowing beyond capacity and it's difficult to get a new dumping sites and its scarcity of land so reuse is the best practice which is generally happen in india it is commonly used in electronic equipments like computers cell phones etc constitutes direct second hand use or use of after a slight modification of the original functioning equipment this method is reduce the value of e waste generation so everybody knows that west which is coming from a uh, lot of developed countries in india which is the dumped in more form so that that dumped material is going to be refurbished material which is used in india as a second hand materials in the form of reuse around the world different kind of electronic gadgets like computer macbooks mobile phones smartphones etc so dangerous of e waste so some of the materials which is abundantly of occurs in e waste just uh, one material we are seeing a beryllium copper beryllium alloy springs relays and connections are majorly affect the human as a carcinogenic and beryllium sanitization and chronic beryllium diseases related to beryllium oxide dust fumes high temperature material and processing in related to electronic waste so cadmium contacts with switches nickel cadmium nickel batteries printer ink toners etc resistance of mobile aquatic environment at sdr 2000 damage to kidney and bone toxicity related to plastics is burned during high temperature metal processing so next is lead lead is a circuit board cathode ray tube crt monitor risk to small children and teachers damage to the central nervous system red blood cells kidneys and potential increases high blood pressure increases incineration can result in release into the air so incineration not is the ultimate solution of these electronic devices but it is the sum of the solution of by a uh, means wasting its to, uh, what we call original size it's come into the air form of human beings so next form of dangerous substance is mercury mercury is generally found in the lighting devices that is eliminate the flat screen displays switches and relays impact of the central nervous system of human beings land filling is in incineration of flat panels results in the release of to the environment that is in the aquatic air environment which is found in the ultimate form so pcbs are polychlorinated biphenyls is uh, ins insulating fluids of transformers of capacitors of film rodent or plasticizers suppressions of immune systems liver damage cancer promotion to damage and to the nervous systems etc this is the damage of reproductive systems too so these are the common effects of some of the common elements which are abundantly found in the e waste so let's let's see effects of hazardous substances that came out from e waste so mercury generally causes the chronic diseases brain memory loss muscle weakness sulfur generally causes the causes in liver kidney damage heart damage and eye and throat irritation cadmium causes new number of uh, what we call natural damage of toxic irreversible effects of human health and brf disrupts endocrine system functions lead damage to central peripheral nervous system blood systems and kidney system uh, kidney damages lead affects the brain development of 
children. Cadmium also accumulates in kidney and liver and triterogenics. The inhalation of cadmium can as a severe damage to lungs as well as kidney in the young ones. That's all for